kind of day and I'm going to be making myself a mocha latte so I just put half of this at the bottom of my cute little mummy mug to turn this on to let it kind of start no waking up and then let's put some milk to froth so I have my milk right here to make our coffee. We're gonna pour our milk. And then I have this whipped cream I've been trying out. It's really good. It's like caramel flavored. So this is a caram salted caramel mocha latte. And I guess I could have made it into a frap, like cold. But I kind of want to try it hot and then I might turn it into a cold drink. So there we have our cute little salted caramel mocha. Did some of this, a little tiny bit of the salted caramel stuff. <laughs> I have, I have really bad allergies, you guys. I don't know what to do to get rid of them. I think I'm gonna go get a shot at the doctor's because it's really bad. You can even hear how groggy I sound in my voice. I'm fully awake, and I just sound like this because of my allergies, which sucks. Just doing my hair for today. I just kind of um, curled it. And I want to do my makeup using my new mirror, so I'm going to go ahead and unbox that for you guys on camera and set it all up and everything and probably put away my most used makeup for today's beauty room series video so you guys can kind of see that. So yeah, let's get started. And if you guys see this back here, these are canvases of us, so there's no one behind me <laughs> or anything. Okay guys, so when you open it, it has all these little things up here, like the accessories. So 
we have the little zooming mirror right here. It just has this like plastic over it. We have our phone stand thing. We have our microphone. We have the cord. We can see the mirror in there. Oh, this is really heavy. So here's the acrylic stand. Okay, we have a little instruction manual. Oh my goodness, this is actually heavy. So here is the mirror right here. Okay, so it has these like little screws in the back. So I'm going to just tighten them. Make sure that the mirror doesn't go anywhere because it is a little wobbly if you just leave it. I guess that kind of tightens it. I'm scared to like, there we go, yeah. I'm gonna tighten it too much, just enough. That makes it a lot more sturdy with this and I'm guessing this is where you plug in everything and I was noticing it has a USB port so you can actually charge your phone while you use this mirror that is super cool Outlet thingy, it's really nice. It has a Velcro, so you could tie up the cord. So my mirror is actually, or my vanity is actually really snazzy. It's kind of like um, modern. I bought this vanity at Bed Bath and Beyond. I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. But it actually comes with this cord at the bottom. Vanity has USB ports and it has outlets so you can plug in hair tools right underneath here. So all I have to do is run this to an outlet. Then we'll be plugging this into the actual vanity to the outlets in the bottom. So I'm going to plug in the vanity and then we're going to plug in the mirror to the vanity if that makes sense. And that's going to make sure that there's no like super exposed cords that just look really ugly because I hate really exposed cords. And this cord is white so it matches the room. I'm going to take like the excess cord because there's a lot of excess cord. And I'm literally going to use this Velcro that it came with. And I'm going to make sure that this excess cord isn't just like hanging out. I'm just going to tuck it behind the mirror there so you can't see it. I really see too many cords underneath the vanity. So, let's... I know I look like a pageant girl because my hair is like super big and I have no makeup on, but I have to give my hair a lot of volume when I do it or else um, by the end of the day it'll just be really flat. So, this is kind of what I do. I just give it a lot of volume with the blow dryer and then that way... You know, it has a normal amount of volume throughout the day. I know you guys are just dying for me to turn this thing on. So, two movies it came with. So, let's see. It has this little plastic right here, so we're just going to pull it out. That should get the vanity mirror lit up. So. Ah. Okay, it says it has... Um, five lighting settings, so that's the first one. I'm going to kind of turn down the brightness on the camera just because I know this mirror is about to get really bright because I've seen a lot of videos. So that's the second light setting. That's the third one, fourth one, and fifth one. That's so bright. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, I can see everything. I need to do my eyebrows. 
really high cute. as it goes right here. I don't know that I'll use it this bright. That's that's really bright. I think maybe like that's the first one. Probably use it on like the second one. Maybe the first one if I have natural lighting to get ready like this. Maybe the second or third one at night. This right here is a zoomer. More peeling. Yes. And this mirror is supposed to have magnets inside it so that these can stick somehow. Oh, there it is. So there's one of the magnets. I know it has a few throughout so you can stick, you know, your mirror, your zoom mirror. You could pluck your eyebrows or whatever. I just noticed there's paint in my hair thanks to this mirror. I've been painting my dining set, so <laughs> yeah. Thank you, mirror. So yeah, there's one here. And there's another magnet down here. I think it's just those two, if I'm not mistaken. And then we have this little accessory here. And this will um, basically hold your phone. So you could do like lives. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I just figured this out. So this little thingy right here, you put it up and down. And then this part twists. Okay. You figured it out. Okay. So this can also go up here on the top. Okay, so I decided I'm going to wash some of my everyday brushes. I use this soap right here. It's called Zote. It's actually in the laundry detergent section. It's only a dollar. And this cleans my brushes the best ever. Like, better than anything I've used. And I've used expensive stuff to clean my brushes before. So I'm just in the bathroom cleaning these. So I went ahead and brought some of my everyday products so I can get ready really quick. And I'm on my second coffee today. Don't judge me. But I was really craving an iced coffee, so I made myself an iced caramel mocha. Um, iced, yeah, caramel mocha. That's what I made. And then I cleaned some of my everyday brushes. This is not how my setup is going to be. This is kind of just what I want to do for right now while I get ready. And let's record me getting ready. Let's see what this mirror is all about. So I have my iced coffee that I made. It's so good. I don't even need to go to Starbucks or anything anymore because just an espresso machine itself like makes such good coffee. But anyway, I'm probably going to speed forward through a lot of this because this isn't like a get ready with me video. But I did get my boxy charm in the mail and I want to use some of the products that I saw in here. We're just baked browns palette in there so I really want to see what this is about because I always hear amazing things oh my gosh what is it with me receiving broken things there's like eyeshadow oh my gosh it looks like it's broken oh my god please do not be cracked please 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 okay so it's not shattered I don't know I don't really understand I don't really understand why it has like eye powder eyeshadow everywhere, but here's what it looks like. I'd probably be curious what else is in here. They sent this iconic Lond London lip gloss. My favorite like makeup subscription, like where they just send pure like makeup and skincare. And then they sent this Touch and Soul product. This is, I think a moisturizer. It says Glassy Skin Balm. Ooh, so we're gonna try this. The packaging's so pretty. It's like pink and white. Paula's Choice Salicylic Acid Skin Perfecting is Exfoliant. So this is a skincare product. So I won't be using this, but I'm going to try to use all the other products. Mm. If you guys like uh, BoxyCharm, I'll leave my link below. It is an affiliate link, so I will earn like a really small commission if you guys sign up. So if you don't feel comfortable with that, you guys can always just, you know, find BoxyCharm on Google. Or oh my goodness. Also, this mirror doesn't get hot. It is so neat. It has like, it gets so bright, but it doesn't get, um, hot. 